Welcome you, welcome you to the house of Iban, where all your dreams come true. So today, you guys, we're gonna just plan some makeup because I got a package from Elf Cosmetics. I'm just going to use all Elf products, mostly, mostly, um, for this makeup look. But before we get into that, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that right now. You know, you can click the button right, right there. Yep. Um, wipe the excess oils off my face. And so for our first product, I'm going to use the Happy Hydration Cream from ELF. It has um, hemp-derived cannabis sativa in it. So it's like this. I'm just going to put it all over my face. And so I got these new products because I, on TikTok, um, I participated in this like, like elf challenge. And people that work with elf uh, marketing people, I was able to get like a little gift card from a video I posted on TikTok. So I was able to get me some elf product. And I chose five different products. I'm about to show you guys which ones I chose and ordered. Um, so the shipping is pretty fast. Ooh. I got, I think, what are the five products? So I got uh, this mini palette from e.l.f. This hydration cream. I think this is a blush. I'm not sure what, Radiant Bronze. Um, this fabulous blue liquid eyeshadow. I've been wanting this. And then this little lip gloss. So I'm gonna put some more, just a little bit of hydration cream. I like this. It's very, it doesn't have a scent. I don't feel like it has a scent. I really can't smell. So I can smell, but I just, if the smell ain't strong, I can't really smell it. Whether that's a good thing or bad smell. But it's very smooth. It's not oily feeling. I feel good, you know, about my skin right now. Hopefully that doesn't break me out. We'll see throughout the week, the rest of the week. So this is I'm, this is like from the instructions that they give. This is primarily used for before or after your makeup. So not after, but before. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. I'm going to use uh, the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I really like this. This is really good because it really blurs out my pores. Because them things be showing. Okay, so we're just gonna just put enough, you know, just, just enough. All right, that's a little bit too much. Man. All right, now, I really can't wait till I get like a little a table, like I'm on a table. A big makeup table and then to have you guys on the table on my tripod I'm just I can't wait because me having to hold this every time is overrated <laughs> over rated okay so like I said I I'm gonna try to use mostly elf products. I don't have any elf powder. I should try the elf powder with the primer, but I'll get that um, sooner or later. But in the meantime, I'm going to go in with my, no, I'm not gonna use this yet. First, I'm gonna go in with, no, yeah. I'm right, I'm gonna go with my airspun. <laughs> um, 
translucent powder. I really like this. I've been have I've had this for the longest. Like you guys, if you don't already, oh, it's messy. It is messy, so I suggest you keep the little lid on that blocks the holes in the powder. But it will last you a very long time. Long periodically time. And what I like to do is just put an even layer over the primer. I got this little tip from Jackie. I know. Auntie Jackie. What I have been doing um, is using this hard candy glow setting spray to um, spray before I put any foundation or concealer on. And I've noticed that that brightens up my makeup even more without having to put highlighter on afterwards. So I just do that. A few sprays, not too much because you can find this at Walmart. If you spray too much, it, it's going to look really crazy underneath the foundation. Um, I'm going to use a mixture of my e.l.f. concealer and cocoa and then L'Oreal's True Match in Warm Deep Golden W10. So I'm just going to, you know, pull a little bit of each one. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to close this first. <laughs> um, what do we want to do next? I need to use some concealer. I don't. Uh, I lied. I have this concealer, but when I bought it, I bought it from Walmart, and I was kind of rushing, and then I really wasn't. I couldn't really tell the actual color of this. Um, because of the lights in the Walmart and then I just I don't know I don't know what I was thinking like you see that that's like Caucasian um, <laughs> a Caucasian color I'm trying not to use too much of it though I'm sorry I'm trying to look for a um, concealer brush all right, now that the concealer is blended out, I'm going to use the this e.l.f. palette. This is the Bite Size Eye Shadow Palette in Akayu. So this is like a little palette of blues, dark blues, lavender. I think that's not really lavender. Does it have the colors on it? I don't think so. But it's like a little, I would say periwinkle? Is that periwinkle? I don't know. You see how Caucasian that look? That's why I only use a little bit because if you use too much, you're not gonna look good. If your mask complexion are darker, don't use that much. In this Profusion Nude Eyes Palette, uh, this black right here, it's like a matte black called Vibes. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to um, center that color vibes right here. Right here. I'm, I'm so happy because I finally found a Dollar General that had um, some alcohol. Cause I like to throughout the times before I clean my brushes I like to use that to help clean it so I can continue using the brush for a different color um, and I finally found one near me all right so now I'm gonna go in with this palette and I think I'm gonna go in with this color here it's like a dark blue matte I'm just gonna pat first and then I'm gonna blend it with the black
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this periwinkle lavender mix color. I really think this is periwinkle. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna focus it on the inner corner of my eye. Pat, 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 and then I'm gonna blend with the other blue. Another brand that I want to try is um, NYX palettes because I really, the only palette from NYX that I've tried is the Ultimate Edit palette that I got. But I haven't really tried any, other, any of their other products. So I think I might do another video I'm using all products from NYX once I go out and <laughs> get some. That's pretty good. In a minute, I'm gonna blend out the sides a little bit so it don't look so structured. Or do I want that? I'm not sure yet. Anyway, so now we're gonna use I'm gonna go in with the same brush, but I'm gonna use a different color now. Um ooh. I almost broke the little palette. Anyway, this light blue color really doesn't show that well on my skin. I feel like it does, but then it doesn't. I need to add some more of that blue because it's disappearing. I'm gonna go in with the Nude Eyes palette again and use this little champagne color here for my inner corner because if you guys can see it's like champagne color it's not that bright I need to use a brush that ain't gonna work okay I think that's a little better now I'm gonna use the um we're done using the palette <laughs> Not using the palette. Now I'm gonna go in with the. How does that look, you guys? I don't know. Can you even tell it's there? I don't know. I feel like this is like a shade that you need to use. Not with other colors, maybe. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. It's on there now. Can't go nowhere now. I'm gonna have to blend that with some of the dry shadow because it's not blending like I thought it would. <laughs> Shocker! I think that looks good. I'm gonna pull it together, don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna come together. So I'm gonna tie it together using the Revlon because I don't have any e.l.f. eyeliners. So I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay in uh, Sapphire. And it's just a blue, I don't know if you guys can see that, but a blue um, eyelining pencil. And I'm just gonna carefully line my eyes after I do my concealer I'm going to enhance the eyeliner with some more of that um, color eyeshadow from elf but next I'm going to go in with some concealer I'm going to use my handy dandy fit me concealer and then top it off with some elf concealer to highlight Also, if you guys have not registered to vote yet, registered to vote yet here in Georgia, you have until August 11th, okay? And if you haven't voted, I mean, registered to vote somewhere else in another state, please look up where you can. We gotta do our part, sis. 
Now we're gonna go in with the concealer from e.l.f. and highlight. Word to the wise, this concealer dries quickly, so after you put a little bit, you need to go ahead and dab it out. Which I'm gonna go do now. I got so much powder on my shirt. Hold on. Man. This is the powder, I mean the, like the blush, Radiant Bronze from e.l.f. Very bronzy color. So I wonder if it goes on powder. So we're just gonna have to Oh, and it does. I'm not gonna put that much, I'm just because I'm not sure how it's gonna look once I blend it out. So I think that's enough. I know it look it will look even better like on a regular day. You just put it on over your moisturizer, blend it out, and go to work. I'm sure that would look very good. And this uh, color right here, I like to just focus it right here by my cheeks. Darken the shadow a little bit. Want a little sculpture look in our face. Okay, now I'm going to enhance the eyeliner like I said. I'm gonna use this color right here in the palette and go in under my eye. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush. It's fluffy, it's kind of tapered, but mostly fluffy. I'm gonna use some of the black that I use from the Profusion palette and blend out. I'm gonna use the NYX because I don't have any e.l.f. Uh, setting spray. So I'm just gonna use the NYX first base setting spray primer. The next few products are not by e.l.f. because I don't have an e.l.f. version. So this is the Maybelline Hyper Easy um, Liquid Brush Tip Liner. And I really like this. This is one of the best um, eyelining pencils, brush tip liners that I've had. So first I'm gonna just add a little freckles, well not freckles, like moles. And then I'm gonna do my, I feel like these moles just add a little bit more originality to my makeup. I feel like I do my left side better than my right. That's crazy. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're going to move on to the lips. And I'm going to use, I might line my lips first. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just going to use this pencil from uh, Way and Wild. It's a brown lip liner pencil. Ow, that hurt. I gotta sharpen this. Do I have a pencil sharpener? I think I do. No, I don't. So now I'm gonna go in with this um, lip looker from e.l.f. Girl, I'm not good with no uh, swatches, but that's what it looks like. 
like a little goldish tint to it. And I think it goes great with this look. I like this wand, I just wish it was, I feel like it, it's gonna break because it's so bendable, I guess. And then just to finish off, I'm not gonna put no lashes on, but just to finish off, I'm gonna use the, oh, what's on the banana? Tacky. But I'm just gonna use the Mega Wear Mascara from Wet n Wild. I really like this because the wand is small, skinny, and it lets you get in the corners of your eyes. And it gives great grip to the lashes to make them full. This is the finished look. Um, I'm gonna put all the products that I use from e.l.f. down in the description box below. Before I for even forget, while I'm recording this, um, I wanted to just give a brief overview of like what I liked about the products um, I like the liquid glitter eyeshadow I just feel like you can't put that over like concealer or other sh dry, um, dry shadows I think you should just use that in my opinion by yourself I'm gonna try to do like a little mini video um, and see if that works better by itself um, I give that like uh, five out of ten Eh, I'll say 7 out of 10. And then the monochromatic multi-stick blush, I give that uh, an 8. Um, I think it'll pop better over bare skin, like after you do your skincare in the morning, pop on some blush, head out the door. The Happy Hydration Cream, that's a 10 for me in my book because it left my skin feeling very smooth, not oily. Um, and as you know, the other products, the lip gloss, a 10 because it is very, very, very glossy. Um, got your lips popping, period. And then the eyeshadows. The only downer to the eyeshadows, in my opinion, was probably because I applied it over the concealer and probably didn't put powder or... Um, translucent powder over the concealer first before applying the eyeshadow so maybe I'll try that um, but for now I'll give the shadows a uh, 8 out of 10 so yeah those are my um, thoughts on the products I know lashes would like make it go to another level but I did not feel like putting them on at all because to put to take them off is going to be would have been too much to be done with. But if you like this look, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.